How's it going, you hooligans? Uh, welcome back to the run into Dale Jarrett NASCAR Thunder 2003 career. That's essentially what we do every every single race. And and Mark Marin, and Ryan Newman, and Jeff Gordon, and Dale and Hurd Jr., and Scott Wimmer, and uh, Jimmy Johnson, and everyone else. We have a beautiful new race car, as you can see. We have $2.76 million in the bank, thanks to the Aaron sponsorship. If you did not see the last episode, that's when we got Aaron, so go check that out uh, and come back. We have two races that hopefully, hopefully, we can get... I don't... Have we ever won back-to-back -back races, guys? Has that ever happened? Have we won two races in an episode? I don't think it has. But if we can do it today, I will be extremely ecstatic. And we have the chance. We have Talladega. We have Lowe's. We have one. Well, Lowe's was very difficult early, but we're going to have a better car hopefully this time around at Lowe's. So hopefully we win that and hopefully we stay ahead and win Talladega. And then Martinsville is going to be a struggle. Atlanta is going to be our next best racetrack. Uh, and then the rest of the season is going to be a little bit of a struggle. So we really need to take advantage here. We're running for the jackpot five as well. Uh, that is going to be at Talladega. So essentially, if we win Talladega, we will get an additional million dollars on top of the race earnings, on top of the sponsorship income, which would be $1.58 million. So we would earn somewhere around close to $3 million. I don't think exactly right at that mark, but it would be close to $3 million. So uh, that that is very, very important uh, to offset any financial burden when we, let's say, we don't do well at Phoenix, we don't do well in North Carolina, we certainly will not do well at Homestead. Uh, those tracks, you know, we probably won't get paid, but, you know, the Jackpot 5 will offset it. Uh, the team, I'm getting very frustrated with these guys. They're not giving me good pit stops. We're, we're going to keep them on until the end of the season to see if they uh, they get better or not. And for the car for Talladega, I'm actually going to think about Lowe's ahead of time. So engine, we have a new engine coming in in one race. And we have, I think, a new chassis coming in in one race time as well. So we can go ahead and uh, can I repair anything? No, repair. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to run the same exact car. Um, for Lowe's, we're going to have a brand new car. Or maybe we might even save that car for, let's say, Martinsville uh, and take a little bit lesser car for Lowe's because I think we will be able to do well there. But for this race, we're going to go ahead and keep engine number 10. And we're going to go ahead and I might switch out the chassis, actually. I might save this chassis. Um, save it for another race, probably, right? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put chassis number 8 in. It's a little bit less, uh, you know, in there. But I'm going to go, is the drafting? Oh, but the drafting's a big difference, guys. 61 drafting on the chassis. No, I could do it with chassis number 8. I can do it. It'll be fine. All right, so there we go. That's everything good there. Everything's good, except changes to the car. We have the horsepower in it, so it should be fine. Let's go ahead and go win Talladega. By the way, shout out to all the Patreon supporters who always support and thank you guys very much. We have a lot of patrons now. This is like the record high, so thank you guys so much for supporting. Really means a lot. You guys are the absolute best. We're, go we're going into the the main prime time of the channel once we get to October and stuff with the new, the new NASCAR game. This is going to be uh, a lot of fun. So, all right, let's go win this thing. If I don't win this thing, I'm a damn idiot, okay? So, let's just as simple as, as. We got to win it. This is for $3 million. This would be the ultimate choke job if I somehow don't win. But this is me that we're talking about. It's very possible that I choke this. So, it is what it is. I'm still depressed that we lost the pole streak. So, it doesn't mean as much anymore. Yeah, we qualified on pole, whatever. I wanted the pole streak. You know what? At the start of next season, what I want to do is literally go 36 races on pole. I want to qualify and pull every single race. That's going to be the goal for next season. But for this season, we continue on. I need to lower the gear ratio just by one, just to be yeah, play it safe, just by one. There we go. All right, let's go to the race. Welcome to today's NASCAR Winston Cup Series event, the EA Sports 500, live on MRN from the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Some drivers will tell you that finishing with their car in one piece here is just as good as a win. The close racing makes it very exciting for the fans, but very nerve-wracking for the drivers. The 99 car should be a factor in this race, given his success on the super speedways. You know, I spoke to him this morning about the success on these monster-sized tracks. He mentioned the importance of being in the right place at the right time, and that's so true with the draft here. He seems to always pick the right line to be in at the end. Ricky that, that's is true, MRN. The bottom of the Thank you. List this season. We're like, we're like the new Dale Earnhardt, aren't we? Just like a, with a really you fast car. Just as hard as yeah. everyone else. Yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. 
Kyle Petty must have had problems in qualifying this week. You know, I spoke with the guys from that team in the garage this morning, and they said they tried something a little different in qualifying this week. They learned their lesson, though. Stick with what works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I haven't checked the point standings recently. That's my bad. But we have Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon literally right there. Who do we help? <laughs> Who do we help win a championship? They're literally like neck to neck in the championship standings. So uh, it's very close between the two of them. And Tony Stewart's still involved as well. He's right here. So he's a little bit further back, though. I'm going to get behind Jimmy Johnson. And uh, it looks like, well, here comes Mark Martin. Here comes Tony Stewart. So yeah, And Jeff Gordon's on the top lane. What is he doing? Actually, I'm going to see if I can maybe just. Yep. Nope. Okay. I think I can just pull away and maybe, you know, go on my own. Can I do that? Instead of, like, just drafting with someone, can I just go on my own, lead every single lap? Yeah, I'd really like to do that. Jimmy, you're slow. I can already tell you're slow. Get out of my way. Look at that. Woo! Look at my speed. Look at my speed. Look at my errands. Look, 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 look. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Hi. Go up there. Hi. How's it going? How's it going? And, oh, what? What? Hey. Oi. Hey. Oh, you two. You two championship contenders. Get back. Come. Yeah. Trap la puta. La puta. Get back here. No. Don't lead a lap, Tony. No. I'm trying to help Mark and... Eh, it doesn't matter, actually. I don't, whoever wins the championship wins the championship. I just want to lead the laps. All right. So you... Get, get up there. Just go. Shoot. Get, la puta. get out of here. All right. Thank you very much. I want to lead. Michael Waltrip is behind me. Hey, Michael. How does it look like to, to see your nationwide car? <laughs> or your Bush Series car? The, the Bush Series? Yeah, Bush Series car. Yeah, because th this is technically Michael Waltrip's Bush Series ride. The 99 Aaron's. So uh, I wonder what he's thinking. Why is he so fast? Michael Waltrip's usually never up in these super speedway races, but uh, very interesting. All right, I'm, I'm trying to pull away on my own, but uh, Tony Stewart and Mark Martin are not letting me. We have Jeff Gordon at the tail end of this little pack. So he's. we have the three championship contenders all in this pack, and I, I'm trying not to get involved, okay? I'm not, I'm not trying to help anyone. I just want to win the race, guys. I'm trying to let the championship battle play out as naturally as possible and let them do what they got to do. I don't see Dale Jarrett. That's the only guy I really got to pay attention to for the sponsorship obligations. I don't see him. Uh, here comes Mark Martin in second place. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Mark. You know, Tony led a lap. I, I can't let you lead a lap. I got I to gotta leave. And Mark Martin goes to the inside. I just want to see if I got enough straight line uh, power here. Come on, Mikey. Oh, yeah, Mikey. Give me that little push. Yeah, that actually mattered a lot. Wow. 100 and 200 miles per hour entering turn three. Come on, Mikey. Oh, look at you. Mike, uh, Mikey, if you're actually this fast, like, damn, I've never seen you this fast before. This is very impressive. Come on, the, the two Mikey cars. Let's go. Can't script it. Yeah, Waltrip's actually on rails. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, like, he's actually trying to pass me. I've never seen it before. I, I mean, Gordon was our drafting partner in the previous plate race at Daytona, and he couldn't really keep up. We're pulling away from Tony Stewart and Mark Martin. Michael Waltrip, what do you have in that race car? Incredible scenes. All right. Yeah, literally the two Mikey cars pulling away. He's actually trying to pass me. I'm blocking him right now. I'm serious. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm following where he's going because I'm trying to block him. Oh, very impressive, Mr. Walter. Try to be worried. Hopefully not. All right, you know what? He's the only one that can keep up. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him. I just want to see if we can go faster with me pushing. Is he going to lead this lap? No, he's not. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to see if he's faster. If he is, then heck, I'll, I'll push him and uh, hopefully not screw up the pit strategy. People are coming down pit road. Where are you, Mikey? There you go. All right, we, I was going 200 at the end. By myself. Let's see what you got, Mikey. Can, uh, what, what kind of speed are we going to hit down the back straightaway? 198. Still 198. 199. You're not that much faster. We're kind of going the same speed, Mikey. Come on. No, we are faster through the tri -oval, though. We were going 200 through the tri -oval. 199. Here come the lap cars that are pitting. If there's anyone fast, ooh, we might have some fast guys I want to work with. Let's see. Come on, Mikey. Let's keep going. Who, who are those two? I can't see. Uh, is that Sterling Marlin and Ron? I'll work with Sterling. Well, yeah, actually, no. Sterling Marlin took the Daytona 500 from us. That still pains me. Uh, I'm going to go around. Oh, you, you, what are we doing? You, you, I'm going to split that, please. And there we go. Okay. Mikey is actually fast. This is very surprising to me. Wow. Look at that. He's holding his own on the outside. Wow. Uh, Mikey, I'm actually getting a little bit worried. I, I, I have a million dollars on the line here. I got to win, so 
I'm going to need you to uh, slow down. We are 2.7 on the fuel. I can only go one more lap after this. I think it's Gordon and Stewart right here. So they've pitted. Waltrip is going to continue to stay out. Okay, we have a little bit of a Sterling Marlin situation developing here. Okay. So this time I'm going to take two tires, though. My tires have been red for a little bit, but you guys tell me that I'm okay. So I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep taking two. I, I, take, I take left side tires and then like a 1.5 of fuel, I think, and uh, we're good to go. And we got to come in this time by. I think Waltrip might go maybe one more lap. But uh, fuel tank almost empty. Lewis, bucks, 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 bucks. You're pushing it right to the edge of the limit here. We're way out. We only got one gallon left. So I think I might run out coming to pit road, but we should be okay. Excuse me, Michael. I must come down pit road. Slow you down just a little bit. Maybe that few tenths will. Oh, God, I'm running out of fuel. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. All right, I'm out at the right time, though. All right, don't speed, don't slide. Oh, he's coming in too. Okay, never mind. Wow. All right, don't speed, don't speed, don't speed. Wow, he gained so much time on me. All right, uh, left side tires. No, 1.5. Right, is that good? Done. Okay. All right, so let's see. Do we beat Michael Waltrip coming out of pit road with the left side tire call? Come on, guys. This is for a million bucks. If you make a mistake on left side tires only, I might just cry. That's all I'm going to say. No, we're good. No, Michael's still in his pit box. All right, we're good. Guys, come on. 11.1. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't see Michael Waltrip anywhere. All right, he's, just, he's coming out now. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, Michael. You have one incredibly fast race car. I'm actually in, incredibly surprised. But uh, well, actually, this race might not be over yet, to be honest. We have no drafting partners. He might catch us. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Clone engine. Who is this? I have no idea who that was. That's some custom car. I thought it was Mark Martin for a second. I saw, like, black and navy blue, and I was like, it can't be Mark Martin, right? Not again. Huh. Coming off the turn four on the final lap, it's going to be our first ever win in the Aaron's Payne scheme. Our first ever win for Chevy as well. And we're going to win the EA Sports 500. Yeehaw. All right. Crew Chief, be quiet. <laughs> we won the race. I don't know what the race results will. We'll check the results after the race. Uh, no, no celebrations for anyone. Sorry. Mm -mm. We got, we got business to take care of, lads. Just head me victory lane, save the engine, save the chassis. Uh, the fans might hate us, but I don't care. Oh, victory lane. We're going to back it in, all right? Let's, let's, wait, how do I back it in? Back. Okay. How? I don't have manual shifting on, so how do I put this thing in reverse? Reverse? Go backwards. Yeah, whatever. I'll be honest. I have no idea what... Uh, victory this is on the season I have to check afterwards as well I don't I'm not I'm never good at keeping track of how many like polls and wins we have on a season I'm gonna take a guess I think this is win number on the on the seat we had two in season one stand on the car no don't just sit there you idiot stand on the car die such an idiot uh, I think this is win number eight I think on the season maybe seven maybe eight's too high I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with my gut and say eight. All right, that's win number eight on the season. Uh, first one in Aaron's. Oh, look at that. October 6th. Uh, it's technically 2003. We're in the year 2003. I know in the game, it, but this is season two, so it's 2003, not 2002. But we'll, we'll take it. All right, how much money? Whoa, $3.4 million. Oh, my Lord. That's a lot of money. Jeff Gordon finished in fourth. Mark Martin finished in sixth. Tony Stewart finished in third. The standings are going to be really close. Let's go see that. Standing, standing, standings. Yo, Gordon has a 24-point lead. That's going to go right down to the end. Gordon, 24 points, 52 on Stewart. Oh, my goodness. All right, driver stats. Oh, it was seven. Ah, I should have said seven. Ah, okay. So, seven wins on the season, 22 poles. I want it to be 30 out of 30 in the year 2004. So I want to make sure we win every single poll. I don't know if that will be possible, but we will see. Uh, how much money do we have? <laughs> seven million dollars, guys. We have seven million dollars. That's just beautiful. Sponsor news, prestige is up to an 85. Uh, that's just beautiful. Again, so many beautiful scenes. Uh, we have, wow, we have a lot of new stuff. Uh, repair, overhaul, and a new chassis, and a new engine. We're going to take that new chassis. And that new engine to Lowe's. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there it is. Engine number 11. Let's put you in there. Chassis number... Ooh. That's a good chassis. 
But I feel like chassis number 9 will be good enough too. And I feel like we should save chassis number 11. No, well, no, but yeah. No, let's not. No, no, no. Let's not risk this. We, we can't be cocky and think, oh, because it's Lowe's Motor Speedway, we're just going to go ahead and take a lesser car and just... No, no, no. I, I got to be confident and, uh, and smart here. And we got to... Even though I do want to save this chassis for like... For like a North Carolina, you know, like actually, mm, ah, no, you know what? No, I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, guys. Chat. I feel like this is gonna be a good enough car. 71, 71. I'm gonna save that brand new chassis for the more difficult race tracks. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna accept changes to that car. That's a very good car. That that should be plenty to win at Lowe's. If we won at Lowe's with a with a lesser car than this, we should be able to uh, to do that. All right, so engine. Let's go ahead and repair engine number 10 for $194,000 and let's go ahead and repair chassis number uh well I could just sell chassis number eight I mean I really don't need that one we're gonna go ahead and repair chassis number 10 for actually no we're gonna go ahead and overhaul that one actually let's go ahead and overhaul chassis number 10 71 71 74 through into fifty thousand dollars boom and we're gonna go ahead and sell chassis number eight where is it sell 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 i always go click inventory first sell chassis number eight one hundred thirty three thousand dollars and then sell engine number we're gonna go ahead and sell engine number eight for three hundred sixty three thousand dollars we got a lot of money guys we got a lot of money wow 6.96 million dollars let's keep it going let's keep it going let's get that sponsor prestige up and let's keep it going remember championship battle gordon has a 24 point lead over mark martin 52 over tony stewart we're gonna go and try and win this next race let's go, go hard, buddy. uh oh oh no that's not good I really, I, I really messed up one and two there. Wow. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to get pole again. Wow. I'm actually sucking. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Car, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why, why are we doing this car? That's not good enough. I don't think it is. Oh, we did? We still got it? Wow. What the hell? <laughs> that was a terrible lap. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just do one little adjustment. I think I need, yeah, I need the wedge to be up just one click. If I need to change it on the pit stops, I will, but uh, a little bit, a little bit too loosey-goosey there. No, but I can actually, to not get loose, I can just back off. No, yeah, I'm taking that back. No, loose is fast. Take that back. All right, let's go to the race. Joe Moore and Barney Hall coming to you live from the mecca of motorsports, Lowe's Motor Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the UAW GM Quality 500. Barney, this is a hometown crowd for a lot of these drivers. A lot of these teams are based in this area. This is a 2,000 acre dream come true for any NASCAR fan. I don't think there's a bad seat anywhere in the place. There's always great racing to go along with it. The 99 car, who's currently in the top 10 in points, will try to reach that next step, the top five. Yeah, he needs to focus on this race. A poor finish can quickly bounce you out of the top 10, but a win can gain you several positions, might even put you in the top five. We'll see what happens. What a great start. MR Whoa, for third place Todd for Todd Rodon. Yeah, MRN, I respect the, uh, the, the, the credit, but we're not week, touching the top like five. To turn <laughs> uh, we are way too far behind. Okay. But I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. MRN, like, you guys have been so nice to me recently, which you should be, because we've actually been running well, you mainstream media pricks. But other than that, uh, you know, it, we're in a good relationship right now. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry for calling you a prick, actually. You, you guys are nice. You guys are nice. It is, it is what it is. All right. And the home of the brave. Oh, so beautiful every time. I just want to shed a tear, no matter how many times. So beautiful. So beautiful. All right, there's Thunderbirds. Oh, it's Mark Martin. It's Mark Martin on the front row. Where are his championship rivals? Gordon and Tony Stewart in that craft paint scheme as well. Should have won with Viagra. Viagra gives you the extra strength, Mark, but it's okay. Uh, I don't see his rivals. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I do not see Gordon and Stewart. Uh, I see, is that Stewart orange car? Yeah, he's pretty far back. Gordon, Gordon. Is Gordon in the Looney Tunes car? Yeah, I can't even tell. All right, so... They're in different paint schemes, I think. Gordon, 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 Gordon. Was that him? I have no idea. Okay, so here we go. 33 laps. Mark Martin is in a beautiful position to regain the points lead. I'm not going to interfere. I'm just going to go ahead and try to win this race. It's going to be tough. Remember, the last, last, uh, the Coke 600, we had to hold off uh, Junior for a lot, uh, a, a lot there and, and go through the lap cars and stuff. So it's not going to be easy. It's, it's definitely not. Maybe we made a mistake not bringing in the, the best chassis that we have. 
But uh, I think this will be good enough. So I want to save that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mark, 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 Mark. You're pushing it, my friend. I, I, I didn't want to cut your nose off, you know. I was just trying to be careful there. All right. Got a lot of fast guys already behind us, so let's try to pull away. I remember the Coke 600, we had, like, the benefit of some slow cars. That's definitely not going to be the case this race. From the get-go, we already have a lot of fast guys behind us. So we're just going to have to hold on. We did have Todd Bodine in third. Why was he not able to hold up enough guys? We have to. I needed you guys to hold up uh, Mark Martin and Kevin Harvey here, but it's okay. All right, here comes Mark again. Mark, this is nothing personal, my friend. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to stay in the lead. I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not, I'm really trying as best as I can not to interfere with your championship battle. But I want to win, all right? It's as simple as that. Sorry, Harvick. Is that going to get him back? No, that was not enough. Yeah. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, Harvick. Yikes, 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 yikes. Please do not do that again. Oh, my God. You, you knew I was going to take the bottom, Harvick. Come on, come on. Why you, why you got to be like that? Oh, we went in the wall. Okay, he just drove himself straight into the wall in the trial. All right. All right, see you later, Harvick. I guess he felt bad. <laughs> okay, all right. Hello, Mark Warren. Hello, Kurt Busch. My Roush Fenway friends. How you guys doing? Uh, that's the one manufacturer we have not run yet in this career. We have not been in a Ford. We've been in the Dodge. We've been in the Pontiac. We've not been in a Ford. We've been in the Chevy, as we are right now. Uh, Mark, Mark, Mark. Please leave me alone. Why can't you just finish second, man? Second's good enough right now. All you need is consistency. It's not like modern day where you just got to, like, win one race and you win a championship. But consistency matters, man. Come on. Just stay back there. Uh-oh. Might slide up here in three and four. No, uh, we kept it. We kept it. All right. Oof. I just need a little bit of a break. I, I can't deal with this pressure from lap lap one all the way to lap 33. It's too much. Way too much. Okay, okay. Lap 11. We're, we're, we're building a little bit of a gap here. Ty this is kind of what happened at Richmond. Uh, you know, when we go to Richmond here, we're building a little bit of gap as the tires wear. But my tires don't feel very good. I mean, yo, 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 there's the slide. In three and four, there's another slide. But we're actually gaining time through the trial. Well, look, I go all the way down here. Boom. We gain like half a ten. And we go like, what? We gain, the, the AI running a little bit higher than we gain like a tenth every time through the trial, which is helping us. Then one and two is a little bit better corner for us than three and four. That time we slid up a little bit too much. And here comes Mark Martin. As I say that, please go high. There you go. And stay right there. Back up the corner. Through three and four. Okay. Pit stops are going to be vital. When do we pit? Here comes Kevin Harvick and someone. I don't really know. Is that is that Junior? I can't really tell. Uh, boop. And... Yep, it is Junior. Boop. Okay, so here comes Dale Junior. He's in fifth. He's going to probably come by. Uh, when are we going to pit? I got, I got to make sure that I don't let these guys short pit on me. So we got to just watch them coming down the back straight with it. They, if they make that little left-hand turn, I'm going to have to come in with them. Oh, boy. Sideways. All right. Eh, here comes Mark. Here comes Junior. Here comes Kurt. Here comes Harvick. It's a five-way battle for the lead at Lowe's Motor Speedway, and I'm just praying to God that I don't get past. Okay, a few more laps till pit stops. Just keep surviving until then. Come on. Now go high, go high. I'm not letting you guys get there you go. Into the corner high. That way I can back up the corner and not miss it because my tires are absolutely dead right now. I'm just trying to hang on. And there goes Harvick. Okay, Harvick has pitted. Ryan Newman has pitted. And that means I got to come in this time by. I can't let them do the, the, the undercut on me. I just can't. It's too much uh, time that I'm going to be losing. I'm trying to push it here. I have no grip left in the tires. Yay. They're already red. All right. Lewis, books, 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 books. This time by, this time by. Mark, please don't hit me. Thank you. There goes Junior. All right, I got yeah, Come on, come on, come on. Be aggressive coming down pit road. Come on. Oh, more aggressive, more aggressive. There we go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, speed up, speed up. There we go. All right, come on, go. Wait, no, 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 no. no. Okay, just go. Ah, oh, we. Ah, oh, it's it's chalked, guys. We lost the lead. We lost. We lost. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You can't time that worse. You can, you can't. Ah. Oh, All right. Now that, that's the win gone. That's that doesn't even matter what the picture does. Ah. Uh, Man, we, we tried so hard, too, guys. So hard. And the pit stop sucks. Of course. Of course. We're going to lose the race on pit road. <laughs> oh, wow. 17 seconds. Oh, and I get stopped. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you want to do to me? Wow. Beautiful scenes. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that. Look how many spots we lost. There goes Harvick, Gordon. <sighs> you know, that, it's just it's just frustrating because, like, you fight so hard only to be screwed royally on pit road. Incredible. I'm honestly more worried that we're not even in the top 10 anymore. I don't think we are. I think we lost so much time on pit road and in the pit stop that we aren't in the top 10. So we might have gone from battling for the win to outside of the top 10 and not getting paid for the sponsor. That, like that, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous how that can happen. It just doesn't make sense. 14th, we're in 14th at the moment. I mean, some of these guys coming out pit road I haven't seen all race. Ricky Rudd, I mean, no, that's it. Pit stops are completed. We're outside the top 10. Look at all those guys coming out pit road. Oh, Dale Jarrett's leading too. Two. Wow. Oh, just... I mean, what what can you do? Yep, Dale, look, Dale Jarrett's in the lead. What? What can you do? What can you do? I did everything perfectly, and and that's it. That's it. Everything's gone. The 1.5 million dollars, the race win, everything. It's all gone. <laughs> oh wow, you really just you, oh oh and oh okay. Wow, and we got damage in the right rear now. It's amazing, amazing. Seriously, I just literally I oh my god. I just have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. It's, it's uh, truly unbelievable how, how that can happen. Well, at least the good news is we didn't use up the good chassis. I mean, imagine if we used up the good chassis. <laughs> imagine. Imagine if we went from 1st to 14th in the good chassis. Well, wow, that would have been that would have been really painful. Um, I'm really close to just firing the picker guy. It's been... I don't even know how long anymore. They've given me one good pit stop in the last 12 races or something. It's, it's just... It, it comes to a point where I don't I don't care if their potential is high. I just don't. I don't. They are in. They are horrible. They are horrible. I cannot get a good pit stop out of these guys, and it's just, it's just costing us. It, it's costing us way too much. I need to fire them. I, I need to. I mean, Rusty Wallace, st stop. Get out of the way. I'm so. I, I literally just want to turn. I want to right hook someone. I'm sweating. That's how angry I am. I'm sitting here and I'm sweating. I am. I am, what's the word, pursuit, pursuit, I don't even know, it just, I mean, Bill Elliott, you are such a nice guy, you know that, God, I hate you, like, I just hate this game, God, I don't even care where I finish anymore, I'm, I'm just so mad, I need, I need to just get some anger out, ah, oh, God, yeah, alright, that felt better, though, oh, that, that, that felt pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. poor Bill Elliott, he done nothing wrong, <laughs> just, just nothing wrong, my friend, I'm sorry, Sorry I do that to you. Dale Jarrett's gonna win the race. I'm gonna just try and get those two spots back, I guess. Probably not. We're just gonna finish wherever we finish. I don't care. Ah. Sorry, Labonte. You're definitely not passing me on the outside. Nope. See you later. And that's gonna give us 16th place. Okay. Can one of you guys wreck up there like a massive wreck modern day NASCAR? Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. My answers might have been... Wait, wait, what just happened? I thought they were wrecking. They all slowed up for a second. <laughs> okay, well... What happened there in turn one? Uh, they almost answered my prayers. Okay, well, unfortunately that didn't happen. Uh, I, was, I thought I was going to get in the top ten for a second with how much they were slowing up. But, uh, no, it's going to be 15th place. That's just an incredibly disappointing. Uh, we have a lot of money, so it's okay. But, like, this was a track where I was expecting to get paid. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm not happy about that. No, no, the, the pit crew just... At least Jared didn't win. I mean, that's all I could say. At least Jared didn't win. $69,000. All right. We got to make a decision on the crew. Um, you know what, guys? Actually, because it's the last race uh, and we're ending this video now, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. All right? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do we fire these guys? Like, I'm I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge, man. Like, my mental my mental health. I'm, I'm going insane. I'm genuinely going insane. I can't take it anymore. These guys, they, they, they can't give us a good stop. We, we had 60 overall guys that were giving us better stops than what this crew is doing on a consistent basis. I am tired of seeing 17 second stops. I'm tired of it. I'm so sick of it. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, do we fire them? I, I, I just, I don't care how happy they are. I don't. L L Portillo has been miserable this whole time. He's had 63 happiness. Why are you still here if you got a 63 happiness? We have these guys down here, like good, good old Mongi over here is 100 happiness, and he sucks dick. So like, yeah, uh, nah, I'm just, ah, uh, God. All right, you know what? I'm leaving it to you guys. I'm, I, uh, uh, yeah.
Yeah, I don't think the surprise and prestige went down. Nothing happened. I think we're still at 85 prestige. Yes, we are. 53 happiness? Why are you not happy? 53 happiness. Are you serious? I'm not happy. I'm not, but I have reasons not to be happy. Yeah, whatever. All right. I'll see you guys later. Comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I need to calm down. I mean, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. All right. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.